Hi, beautiful. What's going on? You look fabulous. As always, thank you for being here. Today, we have another installment of At Home Balayage Fails. Well, actually, they might not all be fails. Maybe none of them are fails. I actually have no idea because I don't watch the videos before I watch them with you. So, hopefully it's something entertaining. Otherwise, hopefully they do a great job. But I do know one thing. All these balayage bleaching jobs are going to be done at home with most likely box dye with pretty much zero direction from a professional. Can't wait. Also, you guys, I have a giveaway. Hey, 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 hey. It's giveaway day. It's giveaway day. It's giveaway day. Day, 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 giveaway day. You guys love the giveaways, so I am bringing you another one. Voila! I am giving away the entire collection of X Mondo products to two of you guys, including the sold out Wavetech Wave Foam that will not be back for a little while. Now is your possible chance to get it, and two of you guys will be winning all of this, and it will be sent to you with a cute little card from me. All you have to do is text me. My number is 917-540-3153. And yes, I do see all your messages and I can personally reply to all of you. This number will also give you updates when I post a new video and many other things such as X Mondo product launches, new photos I post and stuff like that so that we can stay connected. And all you have to do to enter the giveaway is text that number with a blue heart emoji and your Instagram handle or any social media handle that you have. Super easy. That's that's literally all you have to do. I will be personally texting the winner on August 2nd to let them know they won. So if you do not receive a text that day, you did not win, okay? So good luck and I am so excited for whoever wins these products. With that all said, you guys, let's get it started. Why are you always lying? Rain on me, tsunami. Our first video is by the glam pixie and this is doing an at home balayage teasing method i hate teasing methods we're off to a great start i haven't even pressed play yet let's do that why don't we just press the play button shall we so yeah i am using this l'oreal paris <laughs> it turns out really dark on my hair so i knew this is what i want to go for and first thing that i did was part and pull out a couple of front highlights is it too early to pause the video just leaving a small section on the bottom brad mondo doesn't even start the video already has to say something yeah, I have something to say. I'm what you could call opinionated. We're gonna use box dye 5A. Honestly, why? Why don't you just use a permanent color line with the correct developer that goes with it? So like 20 volume and 5A. You can just buy that and mix it together. It's gonna be probably cheaper than buying a box and better for your hair. But do you? Also, I don't mind what she's doing. She is sectioning out the front pieces of her hair. That way she can highlight those pieces and she doesn't color them dark first, which is a great idea. You don't wanna color your hair dark and then go lighter after. That's a big no-no. No, no. no Thank you, ma'am. I went in with this little detailing brush. I got this at Sally's, oh, okay. but I'm pretty sure they're also available on Amazon, so I'll try to find one and link it. So we went to Sally's and we didn't get real color? Dyed the root to like mid shaft, and then I went in with this small fine tooth comb and just pulled the dye through just a little bit to get rid of that harsh demarcation line. Not a bad technique. I really don't hate that at all. So dyeing the root to the mid shaft. We love the terminology. <laughs> Whoa! The only thing you have to watch out for when doing that comb moment um, is that you lay your comb flat on the hair while you're combing down. That way it really drags the color and instead it doesn't just make spots on your hair. Towards the back, I let myself pull down that dark shade a little bit further because I wanted the majority of the highlights to be closer to my face. I am excited for her to get rid of this sort of brassy orange color that she has going on. I think a 5A will be great for her because it'll cancel out that orange because ash is blue and blue cancels out orange. So it's actually a good color that she chose. She did not need to use permanent color by any means. Demi permanent would have been perfect for this scenario, but oh well. After I let it process for about 25 minutes and rinsed it and dried it, I went in with my salon care. Oh wow. And my Ion Color Brilliance brightening powder. You can see what this what my hair looks like. So yeah, it is really dark, almost black. Her hair is really dark. Wow, I'm actually shocked at how dark that came out. However, kind of not because her hair is probably really porous. It looked a little bit damaged and a little dry. Usually when your hair is damaged or dry, it takes two shades darker than the shade you're using. So a level five will come out as a level three on her. And that's pretty much what she got is a level three. So that makes a lot of sense. Also the ash tones come out looking a much darker than the warm tones because they do not reflect light as much. So that is also the reason why it looks so dark. And then with the bleach, I 
just did like the lower half section and sometimes I would pull it up a little bit higher so there were some like streaky highlights in there. I know I said I didn't like the teasing method but that's just because I hate combing out teasing. It really has nothing to do with the actual method but this is good for her. It's gonna help her and give her some assurance that she's not making literal lines in her hair because when she combs up that teasing, it'll add sort of a gradient to where her dark starts and her light starts. So it'll be nice. This time around, I did opt to use some foils just because I didn't want there to be any bleach transfer on those lower layers. I mean, that's a good idea. Foils will also give you that really bright white highlight. So if you're looking for that, then using a foil is perfect for you. I don't know what her goal is, but it is gonna give her a pretty light highlights. Also, the fact that she just colored her hair with an ash tone color that's really dark is actually gonna help sort of tone the highlights without her actually toning them. So I'm interested to see how ashy the highlights come out because she had just applied that really dark color. In the salon, we would have normally colored her hair and highlighted it at the same time. That way we're not doing two steps. We're not coloring her hair dark and then reversing it like, cause that just causes more damage that way. So it is a little counterintuitive, but I will take it. I did pull out this front section though, because I want the front front sections of my hair to have a little bit more of a bleach pattern to them. It's a great so idea. I opted to just leave those more towards the end. I approve of that. I think the front of your hair should be lighter for sure. And I'm glad she left those pieces out to start. That way the front is really impactful and bright. Uh, I went and pulled out some of these foils. I wanted to see how the bleach was processing. Oh, it's light. We didn't want to over process it and damage it. But her hair was light to start, so that makes sense. Be concerned like by bangs. I went ahead and pulled it way closer to my root. I didn't want it to go all the way to the root, but I definitely let myself go a lot higher and I tried to feather it in as much as possible. I'm so curious how this is gonna so look. Teased, but very, very little on these front sections. This is either going to look terrible and come out so splotchy, or this is somehow going to come together and actually look really good because it kind of looks good right now and I'm really confused about it. Okay, are we gonna see the outcome? So this is how it turned out. I am so in love with it. I'll be honest with you, I'm very proud of myself. I think I did really good. <laughs> Girl, what you talking about? Wait, what? Oh, but I love it. It looks pretty gradual. Like, I feel like I did a pretty good job, you guys. The one thing that I don't love is these front bits, but they are a lot yellower than the rest of it. This has a really beautiful, like, ashy tone to it, whereas these front bits have a little bit more yellow, but I might just go ahead and retouch that with bleach. How did we get here? <laughs> is that what I want to know? I want to know how we got here. What, what was the journey? Because last time I saw you, you had bleaching your hair and it didn't look like this. I would have thought she got it done in a salon. Um, I would have no idea that she didn't she did this herself. The dark on the top looks really good. She looks like a different person for the better. It looks really good. I do think the front pieces need to be bleached again, but be careful. Those front pieces can be a little fragile. Other than that, I don't know. How did it come out so white? I'm so confused. I mean, she does have hair that's on the finer side, so it does lighten much quicker and much brighter and whiter than other hair. But God, she got really lucky or something because this this looks amazing. Congratulations, Glam Pixie. You nailed it, girl. First one down and you killed it. You really did this for me. Thank you for setting the tone of this video. I appreciate it. Up next, we have Nat Cat. This is called using ponytails to create the perfect balayage. Using what, Nat Cat? Kitty Cat girl, what are you using? First step, take out the ponytail that you slept in last night. You're gonna want bowls, bleach, toner. Usually want temporary. I've got permanent on hand. You're gonna want 10, 20, and 30 volume processing solution. You might also want to scale, some gloves, a foiling comb, and a lot of hair ties. The first tool that you're going to want to reach for is your foil comb. Okay, so she is sectioning her hair out into two ponytails. Now we are sectioning out the front part of her head. Okay, whoa. Now there's a lot of sections going on. Okay, Night Cat, I see. Okay, so she's using 20 volume and lightener, um, and she's measuring it out, and she's doing a great job at this. I'm very happy that she is measuring and doing all that stuff. And now we are using foils on the back of her head. Okay, talent. We're retouching on the back of her head. This looks dangerous because if you overlap that bleach, your hair is going to fall off. But also, this could be good. The thing with ponytails, yeah, it is a it is a viable option for when you're doing balayage. It pulls the hair in different directions. That way, when you lay it down, you get a softer gradient effect with your balayage. I mean, I'll take it, except she is taking very big sections and she will probably get a little spotting because she's not fully saturating that hair properly. But that's okay, a little bit of mess up it's fine it's fine let's see how it came out though 
Oh, okay, it looks similar. We're toning with 10V, which is violet, which cancels out yellow because it's opposite on the color wheel. She's using permanent color, so it is going to do a lot, um, and it's going to really penetrate that hair. Now, it'll probably be good for her. It'll give her that little lift that she probably needs. Um, okay, well, okay, are we getting another, like, really good DIY at home balayage moment right now? What is going on? Yo, she looks hot. Ooh, giving us a Garnier commercial, baby. Give it to us. Okay, the thing I will say is that, you know, the highlights are good. They're very far from perfect. Does that mean? They're definitely like things that I see wrong, especially like the side pieces. They look very like stripey. There's just a difference between doing that and then getting it professionally done by an experienced balayage artist. There is a lot of color variation going on and I would have liked to see it a little bit more clean and put together and maybe like a center part on her. The side part is good for covering up flaws within the hair, but uh, as a good center part with a good color, chef's kiss, baby girl, chef's kiss. Um, that's what I want to see. But overall, good. She looks beautiful. And if you're watching this, I don't think your hair is bad. I just think it could be better, but you are gorgeous. And only a person picking apart somebody's hair would ever say these things. So don't take my criticism to heart, please. Our next video is by Josie Jade. Beautiful name. Uh, this is called DIY Balayage on Textured Hair. Highlights on curly hair. Ooh. Ooh, I'm nervous because curly hair, you know, actually it is it's a little bit easier in a way to do highlights on curly hair because it's more forgivable than straight hair, but there's a way of doing it and there's a way of not doing it. So we'll see if she does it the right way or the wrong way. All right, so I have my hair sectioned out. These are gonna be the two side pieces and then here's all the back. All right, so it comes with this bali. We're sectioning. Which I'm placing in the bowl. I'm happy. And then it also has the developer that has to go with it. Now I'm gonna detangle the hair and just make sure there's no tangles. So as you can see here, I'm trying to decide how thick I want the pieces to be. It may look like I'm going in pretty heavy, but if you wear your hair curly majority of the time or all the time, you do wanna actually go in with thicker slices so you can actually see them. I've done this before and I chose thinner slices and at the end, you could hardly see them which meant I had to add more highlights and I just wasn't satisfied and if at any point you feel like it's too thick you can honestly just take some of the hair out and cut it in half she did that um great job honestly everything you did said and oh, it was beautiful she is taking thick sections it's so important with curly hair or else you won't see the highlight you want it to be pretty you know impactful and fun however the only thing I don't like is that she didn't really blend it up to the top it's kind of just like a streak of hair which is totally like a, like a thing you know if she wants that very streaky style i would have personally liked it better if it was just blended a little bit more at the top but i'll take it so she is continuing to go around her head doing a beautiful job i feel like she's gonna get more overall blonde feel rather than you know just pieces highlighted but maybe that's what she wanted and that was totally cool but i'm excited because i love when curly hair is highlighted i just think it adds so much more depth and dimension to the hair and it makes it look all around thicker and fuller and really Really defines that curl pattern for you. I don't know. It's just beautiful and it's like very reflective and fun. And she's done applying the lightener and it looks pretty heavily saturated. I'm not gonna lie. So once that's washed out, I'm gonna go ahead and use these two colors that I got from Sally's. 8NG and 6W will make a seven sort of warm neutral color. So that'll be good for her. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and finish. She's doing like a more caramel highlight, which I like. All right guys, so this is it for my do it yourself. A lot of caramel highlights and low lights in here. And honestly, I'm really happy with how it came out, especially since I didn't have too much to work with color wise. This would be probably some of the lighter pieces. And then, like you can see, that's just a little darker. It looks so good. They were just hidden under there. And I'm pretty sure it'll brighten up too. And once I'm yes. done, it'll look a lot brighter. But yeah, I like this. This is what happens when you use the proper toner, you guys. She didn't go and use a level 10 toner, T18. <laughs> Huh. She went and used like a seven neutral warm color and that's perfect because she's going darker than what she had The toner really did its job which is to tone and give you the outcome you're looking for which is a more warm Caramel highlight and it looks so great on her and it really did an amazing job of blending in those highlights So I'm so happy about this. She looks so good It complements her skin tone so well and I'm like really shocked that another person did an amazing job What the? Let's watch one more video, shall we? Our last and final video for today is by Tanita, and this is called 
DIY, five euros at home, ombre, balayage, highlights, blonde tutorial. Woo, we love a title that gives me a flavor. Let's check it out, shall we? You guys wanna? You wanna check it out with me? Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be showing you how I dye my hair from home. Hey girl. L'Oreal blonding kit. Ugh. A L'Oreal blonding kit. So all of that at the top is my natural hair and it is, it's got quite a few different tints to it. My hair very pretty. So yeah, I wonder what it's gonna come out like because my hair, this is all my natural color at the top. Okay, so inside the um, box you get the cream peroxide. 40 volume. You also get the highlight. <laughs> I am happy that this kit actually says what developer comes with it. This actually isn't so bad. I actually don't mind this kit. I'm going to tell you. This is fine. I mean, it comes with bleach and developer and it tells you what kind of developer it is. 40 volume. 40 volume is, you know, the strongest you can get. However, she is doing balayage. She is not covering her head with any foil, I don't think. I actually have no idea, but I'm going to assume she's not. So I don't mind 40 volume. That doesn't look like enough bleach to me, but go for it, baby. As you can see, it's very random and not very professional. There are honestly things I like about this though at least she's using her hands and really getting that lightener in there and making sure that it's fully saturated there's like a white film over it of the bleach which means good that means she's using enough if that piece is nice and white that's perfect that's what you want it to look like so great job um since it's open to the elements there's no foil on it there's no plastic over it you're gonna want to make the bleach a little thicker that way it doesn't dry out really fast from not being in a foil so now we're going on the top of her head and she still has no idea what she's doing I'm glad that she's going up high on the front of her hairline. That'll give her a nice natural looking balayage moment. Like her hair is just kissed by the sun. Her hair was in a ponytail all the summer and it got nice and light. That is exactly what I want. And we're going around the entire head strand by strand. I feel like this might not give her as much of an impact that she's looking for. Um, though it will lighten those ends that are already lightened. And I'm a little nervous about that. I hope they don't get all gross and like fall off and sh no, I don't want that to happen. Hey guys, so I've just had a shower and I've done my hair and this is the final product. Um, I'm really pleased with it. I think it looks really, really nice. Um, it's just brightened it up a little bit and then I've just done a few more highlights through the front. Yeah, and as you can see, all the blonder bits, I did put more bleach on them and they've gone a tiny bit more blonder. So yeah, I've not really done anything with my hair. It, I've just blow dried it. It didn't really do anything. Um, and the stuff that it did do, uh, it kind of made a line on your hair. It's okay. I was expecting a little bit more, I'm going to be honest with you. And I mean, the outcome is cute. Cute. you look beautiful i'm glad you went up higher in the front like i said before and it's so so that's all i really have to say about this but next time you should take bigger sections go up a little bit higher you still have a long bit of root there maybe even now just go on the top of your hair and add some highlights coming down that way it's not so dark up there but maybe that's what you're looking for that really ombre feel but i thought you weren't i thought you were looking for more of a highlighted feel i don't know you sis but i would like you to have more highlights from the roots down so yeah add those in and i think it'll look great i mean i don't think it looks bad by any means and you did a decent job so I'm proud of you. All right, you guys. Well, actually, pretty much everybody kind of succeeded today. Some of them weren't the best DIY balayages moments, but a lot of them were actually pretty good and I am satisfied <laughs> with the work that was done. So great job to all of you and thanks for sharing your videos with us. Make sure to hit the notification bell right below me to get notified every time I post a new video. And make sure you guys follow me everywhere else. Here are all my social media links. Check out my hair care line at xmodohair.com or on Instagram. Instagram at Xmondo Hair. You can also text this number to get notified of new product drops, videos, and so much more. Let's stay connected, please, and thank you. And that is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. This is Glitterati, our styling serum. Glitterati will deliver hold, shine, and lightweight hydration combined with the most beautiful touch of pink sparkle. Glitterati can be used on any hair type or texture. We've also added argan oil and chamomile extract to help strengthen your hair and just make it feel and look luxurious.